MRO inventory stands for Maintenance, Repair, and Operations Inventory. In general, it is used to maintain or repair items that are used in operations. This can include all the supplies of an organization uses for its production processes that do not become part of an end product or finished goods. MRO inventory is not a raw material. It is not work in progress, and it is not a finished product. MRO forms of inventory can include equipment, spare parts for production, consumables, office supplies, janitorial supplies, technology, and safety equipment. As you can see from these examples, MRO is used to support the production and operations and keep things running. Another key difference between MRO inventory and the other types of inventory is that MRO items do not generate revenue. Instead, they support the generation of revenue. With this understanding of MRO inventory, we should now turn our attention to answering the question, what happens if maintenance, repair, and operations inventory is neglected? To put it simply, MRO inventory should not be neglected. Even though it does not directly contribute to revenue, if MRO inventory is not monitored, it can cause big problems for a company. Issues like not meeting deadlines, frustrated customers, and downtime are some of the more common examples. These may not seem like a big impact, but let's put the impact into perspective. In most organizations, MRO represents about 5 to 10% of the inventory in the entire company. For a company that has $100,000 in inventory, that would mean anywhere from $5,000 to $10,000 is spent on MRO. While this is not a significant amount for many, if left unchecked and a stockout occurs, this small amount can really add up. Let's say your company uses fluids like coolant and oil to run machines. Without it, employees cannot do their work. Now, let's imagine that the coolant and oil is neglected and employees discover there is a stockout. Now, in addition to the cost of ordering fluids, your line cannot run and it is losing money. So, what can we do to prevent these catastrophic losses? Preventing excessive and wasteful spending with regards to MRO inventory is not much different from other types of inventory. Monitoring levels with cycle counting or a periodic approach helps keep an eye on things, but these are not the only methods. When managing MRO inventory, in-house methods such as just-in-time and regular ABC analysis are very effective as well. While these methods require resources to perform, they allow internal employees to stay in the loop, provide input, and learn as they manage MRO levels. Another very effective way to manage MRO inventory is through a Vendor Managed Inventory, or VMI. Vendor Managed Inventory programs are a powerful way to leverage an organization's strengths and focus on your core competencies. Vendor Managed Inventory places the responsibility of selected services and or items on a chosen supplier. This hybrid approach to managing MRO items allows an organization to either offload it all or utilize only the internal resources needed to monitor and manage supplies. Of course, from a much more strategic approach, companies need to ensure that they prioritize essential items measure with key performance indicators, and keep things as lean as they can be, and you will have all the MRO you need while not draining resources on stockpiles of MRO inventory. You now know what maintenance, repair, and operations inventory is. 
what the impact could be if it is neglected, and a few of the more general methods of managing your MRO inventory. But before we go, we would like to give you a little challenge. We'd like to invite you to answer the following question in the community, comments, or upcoming assignments. What forms of MRO inventory do you have and how do you manage it? We look forward to hearing from each of you and we'll see you in the next lecture right here on Lean Strategies International LLC, where you can find solutions that ignite your power. Thank you.